Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and in this video we're going to be discussing about the graphs of the average fixed cost, the average variable cost and the average total cost. So let's get straight into it. So guys, what average fixed cost is? Average fixed cost is basically your fixed cost divided by your quantity that is fixed cost per unit. Now if you want to draw the graph of your average fixed cost, first of all, remember whenever you're drawing these graphs you measure your quantity on the x-axis and your cost on the y-axis. So the average fixed cost graph will be drawn like a downward sloping curve just like this because you see that your um, average fixed cost is constantly falling as your output is rising. So remember that your average fixed cost continuously falls as output rises because fixed costs are spread over a greater volume of output. So it simply means that because obviously since your uh, fixed costs are constant and you're increasing the quantity that is a denominator, obviously the value of the you know average fixed cost will go down. Right? So remember that average fixed cost falls as you increase and produce more output. So obviously this is like let's say average fixed cost and then if you increase your quantity from Q1 to Q2 it simply means that your average fixed cost is basically going down, right? So that's about it, that's what how you draw the average fixed cost curve. You're just gonna, you know, um, it will be drawn like this. It will represent that your average cost, fixed cost is constantly falling, okay? That's simple. Now guys, as far as the average variable cost is concerned, now this is important, I want you to pay full attention right now. So average variable cost is basically representing variable cost per unit. Now moving on, remember, so guys remember in the previous videos when we were discussing about the marginal product and the average product and we said that average is basically derived by the marginal. So if the marginal is greater than the average, the average would go up. And if the marginal is less than the average, the average would go down. Remember this, this logic, I also gave you the example of the marks of a student right so um, so guys in the same way when you talk about the average variable cost the average variable cost is also um, first of all let's see what how do you draw the average variable cost of the so you you see if you see this you know the average variable cost is initially it is falling it's going downward so it's downward sloping and then you see that after a certain point your average variable cost goes up right this is how you draw your average variable cost um, so how do you draw your average variable cost basically it's, it's quite simple your average variable cost would initially go down and then it would go up like this so that is how you draw your average variable cost but you need to understand that why do so we need to first see or we need to understand and dig deep into the shape of the average variable cause that is why is it going down and then why is it going up this is the reason that we need to understand so first of all remember that if you're saying that your average variable cost is going down so what is what is making the average variable cost down the marginal cost is making the average variable cost to go down now what is marginal cost you know marginal cost is basically the extra cost of producing an additional unit right whatever extra cost the business incurs because it produces an extra unit that's what marginal cost is right so guys so basically if your marginal cost is falling and your marginal cost is less than your average cost which means that if the additional unit um, cost uh, that is the additional the 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 extra cost that the additional unit um, brings to the firm is less than what the average cost of producing a single unit is. I'm gonna repeat this by the way. So whatever the additional or the extra cost that extra unit brings to the firm or makes the firm incur, if that is less than what the average cost of um, unit is, let's say. So it would basically bring the average, um, you know, average uh, variable cost down. By the way, this was average variable cost. So I'm sorry about that. So whatever the extra cost uh, that extra unit would uh, uh, make the firm incur, if that is less than the average variable cost, so it will make the average variable cost go down. And if your marginal cost is basically greater than your average variable cost, it would make your average variable cost go up. So is this is the simple logic. Why is average variable cost going down? Average variable cost is going down because marginal cost is less than the average variable cost and that is actually pulling the average variable cost down because each additional unit, so you need to understand this. For example, if you're drawing the average variable cost like this, so on the x-axis you're measuring output, right? So basically, as you increase your output, right, as you, as you just, you know, increase your output, your average variable cost falls, right? Average variable cost is going down. And then over here we see that, you know, your average variable cost starts, you know, rising again, right? It starts rising again. And the, the reason why your average variable cost is rising, um, the simple reason is because, you know, your marginal cost must have definitely uh, become greater than your average variable cost and that that is that the extra cost uh, that the extra unit is making the firm incur 
is greater than what the um, is greater than what the on an average what that unit in terms of variable cost cost right so it's greater than the average variable cost that is pulling your average variable cost up but 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 the reason is if i dig deep into now now okay fine that's that's kind of a technical reason theek hai i understand i mean you know if your marginal cost is greater than your average variable cost it will bring the average variable cost it would make it go up but then why 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 is your marginal cost initially less than your average variable cost as in why is marginal cost falling in the first place and then why is marginal cost rising in the first place that is the real reason and that brings us to the basically the conclusion that the slope of the average variable cost or the so sorry not the slope uh, the shape of the average variable cost is influenced by the law of diminishing returns the shape of the average variable cost is influenced by the law of diminishing returns because the law of the diminishing returns influences the shape of the marginal cost so your marginal cost initially falls and then your then your marginal cost then increases right because what happens is that initially your average variable cost is falling because your marginal cost is falling and the reason why why your marginal cost is falling is simply because your marginal product is rising remember what marginal product was you know the extra output generated because of hiring an additional worker that was your marginal product so when your marginal product is going up your marginal cost is going down it's just the opposite relation and because of this what's happening is because of this what's and 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 that's because the variable factors as you keep on hiring more variable factors in the short run those variable factors are making the best use of fixed factors and they're specializing and the labor productivity is high labor efficiency is high and there's the, the, there's division of labor there's increasing returns to labor and because of that your marginal product is going up and your marginal cost is going down and what happens is that you know you're you're basically what's what's happening here is that your marginal product is rising at this point your marginal product is rising and that's greater than your average product as well and that is actually driving your average product up as well so your average product is going up as well so the reason why your average variable cost is falling is because the you know your average your average product of the workers is basically rising so your so your so basically your average variable cost is falling while on the other hand the average product of the workers is rising and the reason why average product is rising is because marginal product is rising and the reason why marginal so basically what i'm saying is so that it doesn't gets confusing by the way just let me just write it down what i'm saying is that the average variable cost is falling and then which means that the average product of the workers is rising and the reason why the average product is rising is because the marginal product is constantly rising and that is greater than the average product which is bringing the average product up but the reason why marginal product is rising is because you know the variable factors are making the best use of the fixed factors and they are specializing and they are doing division of labor and then labor productivity is high there is increasing returns to labor so that is because of that basically your um average product rises and because of that your average variable cost goes down so when your marginal product is greater than average product it means that your marginal cost must be falling as well and that actually you know uh, brings your average basically it 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 just as marginal cost keeps on falling it makes your average variable cost to go down as well and then after a certain point we see that average variable cost rises and it keeps on rising so average variable cost rises and it keeps on rising because average product is now falling and the reason why average product is falling is because marginal product is falling and why is marginal product falling what i'm saying is average product is going down because marginal product is going down so when marginal product goes down a certain point comes when your marginal product becomes less than the average product remember this rule okay fine average product is falling because marginal product is falling but then a point comes like i said a point comes when marginal product becomes less than the average product and that actually brings the average product down as well so what i'm saying is that why is the marginal product falling the marginal product is falling due to diminishing returns that basically because of because of because of diminishing returns and ultimately what happens is that you know marginal product just the, the diminishing returns worsens itself and the marginal product falls at a faster rate right and then just it just becomes less than the average product and then it brings the average product down and when the average product is going down obviously your average variable cost is rising right so as average product goes down average variable cost rises right so basically what i'm saying is if you look at this diagram remember this diagram we also already saw in the previous videos as well that this is your average product curve and this is your marginal product that increases and then it falls so remember point b after point b your diminishing return sets in right and then marginal product intersects the average product at the highest point of the average product so this is what we've already studied by the way now what i'm saying is basically what i'm saying is that if you can see your average 
product is basically what I've written is the average product is highest at point C, right? We know that our average product is highest at point C. And if your average product is highest at point C, your average variable cost should be lowest at point Y. And also your average cost should be lowest at point Z. So basically what's happening here is that your, so when your average product is highest, right? When your average product is highest, remember, your average variable cost will be the lowest and so would your average total cost. By the way, I haven't started average total cost yet, but I'll come to that. So when your average product is highest, so point C is corresponding with point Y. This point C is corresponding with point Y, right? So point C and point Y are corresponding each other. So remember that whenever your average product would be highest, whenever average product would be highest, your average variable cost would be lowest. And that is why we see that your average is going up because at this you can clearly see that this is marginal and this is average and which is marginal is more than average so average will go up right so but then but then after point b diminishing return kicks in when a diminishing return kicks in your margin starts to go down but even if your margin starts to go down your average is still going up right and average only basically goes down average only goes down when the marginal product becomes less than the average so after point c basically after point C, you know, in this area, your marginal product now becomes less than the average product and that is why your average product actually goes down. So when average product is going down, remember guys, whenever your average product is going down, your average variable cost would be going up, right? So and why would average variable cost would be going up? Average variable cost would be going up because technically, yes, marginal cost would exceed average variable cost and that would pull the average variable cost up but then you know you need to understand that the relation between marginal cost and average variable cost and the relation between marginal product and average variable cost they are all interlinked with each other so when we say that you know when we say that your average product is falling when we say that your average product is falling we also say that your average variable cost is rising when we say that your marginal cost is more then your average variable cost and that pulls the average variable cost up we also say you know at this point your marginal so at this point your marginal product would be less than your average product that would pull the average product down so when you're saying that marginal cost is greater than average variable cost that is pulling the average variable cost up so your marginal product must be less than your average product that is pulling the average product down so they both are interlinked and that is why we say that when your average variable cost is going up beyond point y Right, when your average variable cost is going up beyond point Y, this is corresponding. Point Y is the lowest point of average variable cost, which is corresponding with the highest point of the average product, right? Okay, so so yeah, this is what I wanted to tell you. Now let's move on to average total cost. Average total cost is the sum of average fixed cost plus average variable cost, or you could just you know uh, divide uh, total cost by quantity. Now as far as the graph is concerned, we can see that your average total cost curve initially it falls and then after point Z it starts to rise. Just like we saw that average variable cost was falling and then it started to rise. Similarly, average total cost also falls and then it starts to rise. But now there is something I need to tell you that you see that at high levels of output, right? At, as your output is going, as your output is increasing and it, as, as the output just increases and increases and at higher levels of output, we see that the distance, because the distance between these two curves is representing average fixed cost. Since you're deducting average cost from average variable cost, so the vertical distance is representing average fixed cost. Remember this vertical distance represents your average fixed cost. So we see that the vertical distance just keeps on falling because, and the simple reason why the vertical distance keeps on falling is because the value of the average fixed cost is going down. And we have already seen in, the pre, in, in this video as well, in the start, that average fixed cost is going down since more output is produced. So, you know, the fixed cost is spread over a greater volume of output and your average, the value of your average fixed cost just goes down. So the value of the average fixed cost is going down. That can actually be seen on the graph because if you look at this point, if you look at this quantity level of, let's say, Q1, at this level of quantity, this is your average uh, variable cost. Well, you know, this is your average total cost. So this vertical distance is representing average fixed cost. But if you look at this quantity, let's say maybe this is, let's say, Q6, right? At Q6, at Q6, your um, average uh, fixed cost your average variable cost is this much, while your average total cost is this much. So this is your average fixed cost. So the size of the average fixed cost at quantity of Q6 is is less, quite less than the size of the average fixed, the value of the average fixed cost at quantity Q1. 
right? So, so when you're drawing the, remember when you're drawing the average total cost and the average variable cost curve, so if you're drawing average variable cost like this, then remember that when you're drawing the average total cost, you need to, you know, uh, make sure that the distance between the average total cost and average variable cost just keeps on falling as more and at more as more and more levels of output is produced. Okay, guys. So, yeah, remember that your average variable cost will be falling because your uh, marginal cost will be falling, and you, when your marginal cost would be falling, remember that your marginal product would be rising. And uh, yeah, so when your marginal cost would be falling, your marginal product would be rising. And since your marginal cost would be less than your average uh, cost, since marginal cost would be less than your average variable cost, right? Since marginal cost would be less than the average variable cost, that would actually pull the average variable cost down. And uh, or you could also say that since uh, your marginal product is greater than your average product because of obviously specialization and division of labor and increasing returns to labor so since marginal product is greater than average product it's just pulling the average product constantly up and since average product is rising that can be corresponding to a falling average variable cost so guys remember you can clearly see by the way you can clearly see by the way that Remember that, like I said, if your average product is going up, your average variable cost has to go down. Your average variable cost has to go down. Because your average product is going up, average variable cost is going So average product is highest at point C, right? And that is actually corresponding with the lowest point of point Y on the average variable cost. And this is also corresponding to the lowest point of point Z on the average total cost as well, right? So by the way, since the, the you need to understand that when you're talking about average total cost, so if you want to talk about average total cost, remember, again, the same logic applies, that if your marginal cost is less than your average cost, that is the average total cost here, so if your marginal cost is less than the average total cost, uh, that is if each additional unit, um, you know, if each additional unit, uh, the cost, each the, the, the extra cost that each additional unit brings in, that's the marginal cost, if that's less than, you know, what the average cost per unit is, uh, your marginal cost would basically initially be falling and falling um, and then you know uh, and it keeps on falling because of specialization and increasing returns to labor and it also brings the average cost down so that is why we see that the marginal cost is going down although this is how you will draw the marginal cost curve this is how the marginal cost curve is drawn but then again I'm not going to be explaining what marginal cost is in this video we'll explain that in the next video so basically your marginal cost is going down, going down, going down, and then, you know, um, it just goes up because of diminishing returns. So after diminishing returns, your marginal cost rises, and then, you know, a point comes when marginal cost becomes more than average cost, and then it pulls the average cost up as well. So if you're asked to explain the reason why your average cost is a U-shaped curve, the reason why your average cost is a U-shaped curve is very simple because initially what's, what's happening here is why is average cost falling? The average cost, the simple reason why average cost is falling is because marginal cost is less than the average cost and the reason why marginal cost is less than the average cost is because marginal cost is falling it's constantly falling as you're producing more and the, and the reason why your marginal cost is falling is simply because your marginal product is rising because of uh, since since um, each additional labor um, is adding more to you know is adding more to output uh, is adding more to the total product as compared to uh, the it's uh, adding to the total cost and the total cost, by the way, would be the variable cost because fixed cost is constant, obviously, right? Um, and then after a point comes when your, you know, um, average cost starts to rise. And the reason why average cost starts to rise is that the marginal cost then exceeds the average cost. And the reason why marginal cost exceeds the average cost is when because marginal cost is rising, obviously. And the reason why marginal cost is rising is because of law of diminishing returns. The law of diminishing returns just pulls the marginal cost up. And then where fixed factors become a constraint um, on your uh, for for the variable factors, and then you know they start getting in each other's way, and labor productivity goes down. There's decreasing returns to labor, right? And that just brings the marginal cost up, and then it keeps on worsening. And then a point comes and marginal cost exceeds average cost, that brings the average cost up. But again, yeah, we know that this logic, this is the logic that marginal cost is less than average cost, average cost would go down. If marginal cost is more than average cost, average cost would go up. But, but, but again, there's a reason why marginal cost would be less than average cost, and that is just because of the diminishing returns. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you all around in the next video. Until then, take care.